Hey there, today I decided to go for a voiceover to show you my new sketchbook I got from Sakura. It is um, a sketchbook with uh, black paper in it uh, because I wanted to try using black paper um, and yeah, I tried different mediums on it and then I also drew a little portrait I'll be showing you today. Here I'm unwrapping everything. I thought it was very nice that the sketchbook wasn't as expensive, so I can just play around with it without feeling any guilt uh, if I mess up. Yeah, um, it has 80 sheets of paper in it, all black, and uh, is 140 grams per square meter in weight. I used Koi watercolors, Jackson Aquarels, and even <laughs> graphics fineliners. But first, I went for Faber Castell colored pencils, and my camera decided not to record it. So, what I did, I first used white, silver, and gold. They look very nice on the paper, and then I just used three colors, um, and uh, I used each with and without white underneath. Uh, and as you can see, the ones with white underneath look more vibrant. So depending on the effect I want to have, I'll just use white underneath my colors. The same applies to the Koi watercolors. Um, without any white mixed into them, they look very dark and not even like the color they're supposed to be. So um, I was worried um, they didn't work at all on the paper. But with white mixed into them, uh, I think every shade um, was very nice. Uh, even the very dark blue there, uh, which is almost not visible without any white. Um, so yeah, I think I'll be using those uh, in the sketchbook too. Then I tried to sketch with the watercolors a bit. I um, painted an eye and some lips. The eye turned out quite nice, I think, um, because the black background just makes it pop. But um, yeah, the lips I painted just look a bit mediocre. On to the next contestant, the Jackson Aquarel Wax Pastels. Um, I first just uh, laid them down, um, each color in these rectangle shapes, as you can see. And I think they look very nice on the paper. Even the dark shades, just the darkest blue looks a bit weird. Yeah, and then I also used them with uh, water. And uh, I think uh, they're the most difficult to use uh, in the sketchbook because as uh, I use them with water, they turn more opaque. So um, the black paper shows off underneath, uh, which makes it more difficult to yeah, fill spaces uh, in general. Um, so I think I just have to practice with it. I also tried uh, green with white and it blended very well uh, and gave just a brighter uh, version of it. Um, so yeah, that's not as difficult. They also dry matte, which looks very nice. Then I tried the white Posca acrylic marker. I wanted to use this one for highlights in my sketchbook. And I think it is very well suitable for that. The tip isn't as thick as I feared it would be, 
so I can yeah, use it for details too and it is very comfortable to draw with it. Then for some reason um, I decided to yeah, test fine liners too and it didn't work at all. It was a bad idea. Um, I won't use these in the sketchbook. It was a total failure, <laughs> as you can see. Um, yeah, but the rest I tested was very nice, I think. Uh, just some close-ups of the different uh, pencils and colors in general. I used watercolors and I will also be showing the Jackson aquarels again. Then I just decided to sketch some more with the watercolors. Um, those aren't any special sketches, they don't look very good um, too. Yeah, I just wanted to show you what I did there. Um, this flower, uh, this yeah, cloud thing and the bunny. So now let's look at the little portrait I wanted to do. Um, it started all quite well. Um, I thought um, it was going all well, but um, for some reason I decided to use um, different pencils from what I tested earlier in the sketchbook. I had some aquarelle pencils lying around um, and for some reason I thought it was a good idea to use those as a first layer for the portrait to have um, a watercolor-like um, look to it without using watercolors actually but uh, it turned out to be the worst idea I could have come up with because when I uh, used water uh, on the uh, pencils um, first it looked like um, the pigment had fully come off and I thought I messed up the whole page. When it uh, dried again, um, the pigment wasn't gone, but um, the problem was that it all looked smeary and yeah, just disturbed, um, not like skin would. Um, yeah, now you can see how messy it looks, um, just with white and not even that much color. Um, uh, then I decided to fix it with um, the Faber Castells. Uh, here I tried uh, to do the lips uh, with the aquarelle pencil still, um, but it didn't work. Um, then I tried to rescue um, the portrait uh, by yeah, just using the Faber Castells and some other uh, colored pencils, but uh, the paper was already strained um, a bit, so it didn't come out that well as it would have if I just used uh, the Faber Castells in the first place. But yeah, um, I think it turned out okay for that. A bit of a shame is that the skin color isn't um, as nice as I would have liked it um, because of that uh, strange uh, first layer uh, from the aquarelle pencils. Um, the 
the skin of the face had a very yeah, unpleasant uh, tint, but uh, I think um, at least the skin uh, underneath um, the face was okay in color. When I was um, pleased with what I did, I um, gave her these red dots because it was um, included in the makeup of my reference. Um, it, yeah, I liked it a lot. And um, then I used the um, acrylic marker for the highlights uh, in the eyes and uh, for some makeup. I also used it for her lips and the necklaces around her neck. So now we're done. I hope you liked my test of this new sketchbook and the little sweet paint of this portrait.